Hey folks, Darren from DN Auto Sales. Good evening. Uh, coming at you with another preview video. Got one to show you that we're going up, going up for sale. Let's uh, check it out here a second. These are full restoration jobs that we're working on a 70 Ford Explorer and a 1982 Dodge Explorer. Here's the one that we're going to be putting up for sale. We're going to call this one the 7 Iron. Yes, the 7 Iron. Why is this called the 7 Iron? Well, because at one time the previous owner decided that the uh, dump for the sewer broke and he had to put a new handle on it. And so he used a 7 iron club. I thought that was kind of cool. So this one is dubbed the 7 iron. This is a 97 Dodge Coach House, uh, non wide body, um, has 184,000 miles on it. It's got a lot of miles on it. It's in great shape. It runs awesome. I'd be ready for a cross country trip on this tomorrow. Um, it's got that, I get that much confidence in, even though it has the miles. Um, body looks great. We'll go take a lap around it. Did some kind of cool stuff to it. Got 17 inch alloy wheels with nice Michelin tires, all aftermarket. Um, the paint has some cracking in the stripes, a little bit of missing paint here, but overall it's still shiny. Stripes are still good up top. You can see it's got an awning on it. A couple bubbles of rust right here. And that's the only rust that's on it. And underneath is absolutely solid as well. There is a spot for a generator. Uh, one bubble of rust there as well. Back here. Even has a matching aftermarket rim and spare tire as well. Backup lights, trailer hitch. The auto sale sticker, got to have that, and a good sand club, double, look at that. So this side got some storage underneath there, your plug, obviously full length running boards. Let's see if I can back up a little bit, this camera zooms in a little too much. But yeah, overall a good looking unit. I like what he did with the front end, kind of blacked it all out, aftermarket chin spoiler. Uh, running fog lights on the bottom inside the chin spoiler, custom grill. Uh, the headlight covers pop right off. They're just on there with Velcro. So it just gives kind of a cool custom look to it. Okay, should we look at the inside? Again, for the miles of this thing, it's in great shape. Got a nice aftermarket radio. Entryway for here. Got all the window treatments with the shades and the screens. Original carpet and flooring, it was all in good shape, so we didn't uh, didn't do a full remodel job on this one. We just went through and made sure everything worked. So you got your fridge, stove, galley kitchen, uh, there's all your switches. Only sleeps too, just got a bed in the back. Uh, it folds down to a double bed. A lot of like a lot of cupboard space in this one. Big closet here, big closet here. There it is. Can't see it's dark, but it's there. Uh, makes a nice size bed back here. There's a spot for a television area right here. Bath is real nice. It's got a a, um, a nice wet bath with a sink, toilet, obviously, flush toilet. I can almost fit in here. I think you have to sit down. You know, it's just a, it's a sit down shower thing, but it works. Cheers. Um, and everything's in nice shape. It's uh, all the wood's nice, all the cabinetry's nice, everything works on it. Uh, there is no generator. A little cubby up there, and it does have all of the manuals with it as well. So yeah, so that's it. It's uh, going up for sale kind of as we speak. So tough to find something in this price range. It's got a lot of miles on it. That's so. The, but the, we're going to price it out at, at fifteen thousand um, dollars. Feel it's a real good value in the highest mechanical in the world right now. You know, you don't get a whole lot for that kind of money. So watch it up for sale on our website yet today. See ya.